Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to open a dome and reconfigure its settings on the MetaTrader 5 Forex trading platform. Now, before I do begin, I would like to mention that if you are in the market for a new Forex trading platform, or you would like to try out MetaTrader 5 for the first time, you're more than welcome to do so for absolutely free with unlimited use using the link I have provided in the very beginning or the end, very end of this video. I'll also be providing that same link down in the description, which is a clickable version of the link. So if you do click this link, you will be brought directly to the demo signup page. So once again, if you're interested in trying out MetaTrader 5, feel free to use the link I provided. Now on to the video. So at first glance, as you may see, you might not notice how to open a dome or where a dome can be opened up on this platform. It's a bit hidden, but once you do find out where to open up a dome, it's very self-explanatory. There's actually two locations in which I suggest you open up a dome from. One is through your market watch list right here on the left-hand side of the screen. As with many other function on this platform, if you do right click the specified contract in which you'd like to open up a widget for, in this case being a dome, as you will see in the context menu, you do have the option now by right clicking on this contract to open up a dome directly from here. So if I do highlight the euro versus the US dollar, right click and then click on depth of market, as you can see, the specified contract will open up in a dome. One other place I do suggest looking if you don't have a market watch list up is through the view tab, scrolling down to depth of market, and then you can pick one of the pre-selected contracts here or scroll down to Forex and you'll get an expanded view. So for now, again, I'll be picking the Euro versus US dollar. And as you can see, we now have a dome up on our screen. All right, so now that we have a dome on our screen, we can begin to reconfigure its settings and mess around with it to get it to the exact configuration to match the trading method that we need. So as you can see here, by default, the dome will populate somewhere to the left-hand side of the screen, usually attached to the market watch list. It's worth mentioning that this can be repositioned to essentially any location on the platform. You will see a gray outline on the outside designating where the dome will actually end up once you let go. You can put it on the bottom to extend the bottom half of the screen. It does kind of mess with the formatting a little bit, making it a bit hard to read. So I wouldn't suggest putting it down there. But if you ever get into the situation where it is stuck to the bottom half of your screen, you'll notice that the Euro versus the US dollar, the contract symbol will be on the left hand side in a little gray bar. If you get into this position, you can simply left click that portion of the window and then redrag it out to the main portion here. Because I'm not currently stuck in that position, I can just simply left click and grab once again where the contract name is to move it around as I like. So some various settings, as you can see, there is a toolbar that populates on the top of the dome. The first one being a tick chart. Now this does work very similar to the tick chart on our market watch list. Again, if you aren't familiar with this feature, you can simply highlight something on the market watch list and open up ticks. This essentially just gives you a mini portion of a chart here. And once you do have it activated, you do get some charting tools that you can enable or disable on our toolbar here. But other than that, this is just a mini chart to actually see the market in real time and get a graphical view of it as well. So if we disable that, as you can see, we're now back to the normal dome with the normal toolbar settings. And there are a couple more settings here to mention. Right now, we currently have an extended book open. If we left click this feature, it does get shrunk down into a condensed version of the dome. It may be worth suggesting to open up your extended trade book as you do get more depth of market in this view. Other settings are show or hide spread. So as you can see, we currently have spreads on as well, which are shown. If you disable it, your dome does get a bit more bare bones. 
But again, this is just something to keep in mind if you do like simplicity. So now another great feature of the dome on MetaTrader 5 is the ability to link it to an active chart. So if we do open up one of the various charts for one of the various contracts and we link it to our active chart that is open, our dome and our charts are now essentially in unison. So if we do swap the contract on our main and active chart here, as you can see, because this is active, my dome now gets changed over to the Britain pound versus the US dollar. So again, if I activate my Euro versus US dollar now, and this is the active chart, as you can see, my dome automatically reconfigures. So if you are the type of trader to trade on the dome and you do trade multiple contracts on the fly, this is a great setting for you to activate because you can seamlessly change charts and the contract on the dome will seamlessly change as well. Now, as for actually placing trades on the dome in MetaTrader 5, it does work as you may expect a typical dome to function. Down on the bottom left here, we do have our stop loss levels that we can adjust manually or by clicking the up or down arrows. We have the same on the right hand side here, but this time for target profit, which we can adjust. We do have the price level and which we can adjust right in the middle. You can also do so manually if you like as well. Now you also have your buy and sell buttons on the bottom right hand corner in the bottom left hand corner respectively. And we also have a close position button right smack dab in the middle. So if you do have any open positions, you can close them directly from your dome here. You can also, if you'd like, right click on any specific price level you'd like, and then you can place orders directly through the context menu of a right click. You can also set an alert for that price level if you need to. You can open up a chart for the specified contract. And although I do have this link to an active chart, if you didn't have a chart open already, this is another alternative method of opening up a chart. A couple more settings here. We can activate spread settings through our right click as well. And we can change it to the actual dollar amount instead of lots. Finally, if you would like to, you can use the trading buttons right here on the right hand side. If you do click one of the up or down arrows, it will actually open up an individual order ticket off to the side here. This is where you can place more advanced orders and change different things like expiration timing. Naturally go in there and manually adjust all the different price levels, stop levels, take profits, your in, your expiration. If you'd like to add a comment, you can do so here. And like I said, we have more advanced order types as well in this specific order ticket. Again, if you open it up through this method, you will get the tick chart on the left hand side here, which is a nice feature as well. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. The dome is pretty self-explanatory on MetaTrader 5, but it may be a bit confusing for first time users of this platform. Again, if you would like to use or try out MetaTrader 5 for the first time, please copy down the link provided in the very beginning or the end of the video or feel free to refer to the description down below to get a clickable link that will take you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. Once again, thank you for watching.